Hey everyone, it's Ian K for Peep This Out Reviews. This time over at Popeyes to take a look at their latest promo, which looks to be something new. Well, sort of. So stay tuned because the Buffalo Ranch Tenders are up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. All right, here we go with the Buffalo Ranch Tenders here at Popeyes. And as expected, another delicious looking box of fried goodness. This actually looks and smells really, really great right now, guys. Starting off with the main star of the show, we've got their classic chicken tenders breaded up and fried to a crispy golden brown. But before that, they're marinated in Louisiana seasonings, all that good stuff. And as you can see, drizzled on the top is a creamy buffalo sauce. It's supposed to deliver some decent amount of heat from what I'm told. But it's looking pretty tasty, looking really, really nice. You've got a side of fries here to go with it and the combo is rounded out with a biscuit. So for five bucks, not too bad at all. Just on the side here, they showed black and ranch, so I decided to go with that as well. You can't have too much ranch, and it's one of my favorites. But this is looking really good. Three tenders and a pretty generous amount of that buffalo drizzle there, looking really, really tasty. So let's see if this one's gonna deliver. It's the new Buffalo Ranch Tenders here at Popeyes. Peep out this flavor. All right, so correct me if I'm wrong, is this like a thing now to basically drizzle sauce on chicken tenders and market it as quote unquote new? I mean, that's pretty much something that I think people can do on their own just by dipping chicken into sauces. But I guess technically it is set up for you, so what can you do? Well, actually in Popeye's case, market it as new. So that's what we've got right now, guys. Take a look at the buffalo chicken tenders one more time. It's not a bad promo for what you get for five bucks like normal. Three tenders, fries, and a biscuit is definitely a cool thing. And naturally with that quote unquote new aspect of this here with the buffalo, not bad whatsoever. So before I get into this, and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. All right, let me pick up one of these real quick and we'll give you another fast close-up before I bite into this. But guys, looking nice, glistening in the sun right there, as you can see, drizzled with that buffalo goodness. Now this was described as being like a creamy type of heat. So let's see if it does just that. Let's give it a shot. You know what? Wow. Okay. For those of you who don't know, the same company that owns Popeyes also owns Burger King. This ranch, the creaminess of it, is very, very similar to that. The consistency is nice on it. It's glistening in the sun for you there as well. The creaminess is on point. The heat is kind of coming up in the background just a bit, but guys, I have to admit, this is really reminding me of BK's buffalo sauce. Just not a lot of it, because I do actually prefer that over all the other ones out there, just because of the creamy consistency and how thick it is. But this, flavor-wise, is very similar. Let's keep going. Yeah, straight out. You'd be hard pressed to tell me this was not the buffalo sauce from BK on these tenders right now. And just so you guys know, I know that sun is kind of blowing it out. Let me pull it back to slightly right there. The chicken itself, fairly juicy, a little thin on this particular one, but the crispiness is on point and definitely a Popeye situation that you already know and love. That heat is exactly the same from BK, the way it's resonating in the back. You know, technically, I see what they're going for with this. A little bit of creamy heat, the fact that it has ranch in it, the thickness of the consistency. It's just enough to let you know that the heat is there with some of that creamy ranch action to go with. So it's nice, nothing earth shattering, nothing revolutionary. I'm not reinventing the wheel with this, but it is pretty tasty. Let's go for one more bite and we're definitely gonna go in for a little dip of the blackened ranch because guys, like I said, you can never have too much ranch. They go hand in hand with chicken tenders, hang on. Mm hmm All right, so this ranch has already got some spices all on its own naturally The hair. It's really good over here, and I gotta admit, going with a little bit of extra buffalo can't be a bad thing. Let's give this a go. And naturally, since I can dip it myself, of course we've got more of that goodness on here. Let's do it. Mmm. That's the ticket right there. And the creamy buffalo coming up with that slight heat. Cool creaminess of the blackened ranch too. Mmm. I see why they market this on the poster with Black and Ranch. It goes amazingly well with the buffalo. And like I said, the creaminess of that is there already. A little bit of the heat from the buffalo, but I'm telling you, I'd be really surprised if I didn't find out this was BK's buffalo sauce actually all over these chicken tenders right now. And guys, it's tasty, don't get me wrong, but again, nothing earth shattering. Mm. All right, so just to round this one out, the versions of these tenders I've got today are a little on the thin side, but the crispiness is on point. And as you can see, a very decent amount of that buffalo goodness in there. I only wish 
they were actually coated just a little bit more around. That would be really nice to kind of drench them slightly. Um, but for advertising purposes, you just get in that drizzle on top and you've got your dipping sauce of choice. But a nice combination either way for five bucks with fries or your choice of side and a biscuit. So decent stuff, I would recommend it. And guys, it's the fried goodness over at Popeyes. You know you're gonna dig it. All right, so innovation wise, that's not gonna win any awards, guys. Like I said, buffalo and chicken goes hand in hand. Just having it drizzled on your chicken is a nice thing to have naturally just because of the prep. But for what it is, it's really not gonna be anything more than the mid-range in terms of innovation because guys, I think it's expected when people get fried chicken, it's usually ranch, buffalo is really one of the more popular ones to go with. So I can see why they chose that. But at the end of the day, it's still fried crispy goodness from Popeyes and the quality is solid. So overall, I'm gonna have to give the buffalo ranch tenders over here at Popeyes just an okay seven out of 10. It drops down a few pegs strictly because of the innovation aspect of it. But it's tasty, it's delicious, it's pretty much everything I've had in the past. This time, just with some buffalo sauce. But I'm telling you, it is BK's buffalo sauce. It really, really tastes exactly the same way. And I'm digging that, don't get me wrong, it's good. I'd probably rock this one again. But again, seven out of 10, pretty much it. All right, so now the obvious question, is this one gonna be it for you right now? Do me a quick favor, drop some comments down below. Is buffalo your sauce of choice when it comes to fried chicken or chicken tenders in general? Or is something else more your speed? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. This one's definitely tasty, Popeyes, don't get me wrong, but if I can put a suggestion in that box for you, I'd probably recommend maybe next time around, try some different shapes or something with a different theme, maybe like asteroid chicken, pieces of chicken that look like a meteor with some type of glitter or something like that. You guys have that capability with the 24 karat wings that I reviewed a while back. This would actually be a really, really nice addition if you actually change the shape of it and do something different. That's all I'm asking. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.